This is your spiritual connection, ourplanetlife.org, broadcasting from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Hello and welcome to DFW Business Hour on ourplanetlive.org. It's a reach out program of Web Chapel Church of Christ, and uh, my name is Art Garcia, your host. And we'd like to remind everybody that this program can be seen later during the day on demand on ourplanetlive.org. And we thank you so much for joining us this morning. And today we have uh, Sarah Boyer and we have Beth Savella of uh, Mosaic in Dallas. Hello and welcome to DFW Business Hour. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to also emphasize that for more than 25 years, Mosaic in Dallas has been serving and advocating for children and adults who have intellectual disabilities. Their community-based programs serve more than 90 children, adults, and families throughout Dallas, Denton, Rockwell, and Rockwell counties. Also, uh, I, I didn't know that y'all were um, nationally. Uh, I thought y'all were just mostly local. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Sure, I'd be happy to. Mosaic was actually started in 1913 uh, by a young Lutheran pastor in Axdell, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And he at that time had seen a lot of people with disabilities that were uh, being imprisoned and just treated unfairly. And he knew that there was a better way and that people should be able to live in the community and thrive and have the same opportunities that other people do. So he started our program there. And then it slowly started expanding throughout the years. Um, going to other cities and towns, and we've been in Texas since 19, well, in Dallas since 1986. Mm -hmm. And um, we serve many agencies throughout Texas. We're also in Corsicana, Waco, Lubbock, San Antonio, San Angelo, Alvin, Bryan, and Seguin. Great. Uh, who do you help? To qualify for our services, someone needs to have a primary diagnosis of mental retardation, uh, an intellectual disability or intellectual challenge is what we'd like to say today. And um, they can be children or adults. They can live through, as you had mentioned, in Dallas, Denton, or Rockwell counties. And um, they have, may have other disabilities as well. Maybe someone is hearing impaired or visually mm -hmm. impaired. Maybe someone um, has cerebral palsy or Down syndrome or might be autistic. Um, but their primary diagnosis is that intellectual disability. If a person that is in, in this program and they decide uh, to move to one of those areas that you support, would they be able to transfer that? Um, that ser would you be able to transfer that service to that area for them? Within Mosaic? Yes. It would depend if there was an opening. If they mm -hmm. were in, um, there's two different programs that we have. One is called Home and Community-Based mm -hmm. Services, and this is a Medicaid waiver program. Mm -hmm. If the person is receiving services through that program, then yes, they would be able to transfer. Okay. Um, please explain the different uh, services Mosaic provides to people with intellectual disabilities. Well, we really have three main areas that our agency um, supports people through. Mm -hmm. We have our residential program, and we have uh, three homes in Carrollton uh, and, three in, and three in Richardson, and they are group homes, the regular houses in regular neighborhoods mm -hmm. like you and I live in, and there's six individuals to a house, single-sex homes, and um, through this program, we offer 24-7 assistance for daily living needs. So there's always a staff mm -hmm. there um, to just help with anything from cooking and cleaning to driving people to doctor's appointments or to and from work. Uh, so that is really a program that adults come and live in that um, who are not able to live on their own. And then we have our home and community-based services. And through that program, we have apartments where people who have a little more independence um, can choose to live on their own and get support through our um, case managers. Mm -hmm. They can, well, basically what our case managers do is, um, you know, again, they take people to and from appointments, to work. Uh, they make sure that people, uh, you know, handle their finances well. They help them with groceries, cooking, um, just basic living skills, but also um, teach people uh, the daily living skills that they need to live independently and live on their own. Um, but some of those people also live with roommates that mm -hmm. are also in our program. I see. Uh, 
Uh, and then we also serve children and their families that are still living in their home, so children that are living at home or in foster care. And uh, what we do is offer supports not only to the child but to the whole family mm -hmm. so that they're able to um, just meet those um, daily living needs that can sometimes be really challenging for a family that has a child with an intellectual disability. And then last but not least is our vocational center. That is where we currently employ over 60 individuals that have intellectual disabilities. Mm -hmm. They are all adults, um, 18 or older. And through that program, uh, not only do we just pr provide a job for people with intellectual disabilities, but we also teach job training skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll talk in a minute about um, what type of uh, jobs mm -hmm. we have for people that work in our vocational center. That's a great service you're providing for the community. Also, where are the, these programs located? Uh, well, our vocational center and uh -huh. our offices are located in Carrollton on Midway and Keller Springs. Uh, however, like I said, we have some group homes in Carrollton mm -hmm. um, and then some in Richardson. I see. Also, uh, if people want to get a hold of you or need some more information, do you have a phone number and a website where people can can go and check it out and because I looked at your website you have a lot of information on there yes yeah we do we have a website that is uh, www.mosaicindallas.org and there is a lot of information on there we um, you could also call us at 972-866-9989 great uh, what makes Mosaic different uh, than other agencies in the area well our uh, Sophie Sorry, Sarah had mentioned <laughs> uh, we, ha we do provide residential and vocational services, uh -huh. and our residential services are varied, as she had talked about, our group homes that we have, and those are called interme intermediate care facilities mm -hmm. for people with mental retardation, and we also have that home and community-based services mm -hmm. program she talked about, which is a Medicaid waiver program, mm -hmm. and that's where people can live on their own or in a group home or with their families or in foster care, which is called host homes for that program. And we have our vocational center. We are one of the, the few agencies in the area that has that all-encompassing uh, comprehensive services where we have residential and vocational component as well as mm -hmm. a variety of those residential services. Mm -hmm. And what also makes us distinctly different than other providers in the area is that we are faith-based. Since we were started by a Lutheran pastor, we, ha we are a Christian ministry uh -huh. and uh, we serve all denominations and people do not have to be Christian or or in practicing any faith, but that is a spiritual component to our program that does make us different than other providers in the area. I see. Do you have like uh, some kind of a screen where you check the individuals if they qualify? Uh, or how does that work? Uh, there's an intake process. Uh -huh. So people, the first thing that people need to do is they have to be Medicaid eligible. Mm -hmm. So I talked about how they have to have that intellectual disability, yeah. intellectual challenge diagnosis, and then they have to be eligible for Medicaid. Um, and after that, they would contact, uh, depending on the county they live in, yes. their local um, MRA, it stands for Mental Retardation Authority. So in Dallas, it's Dallas MetroCare. Uh, and in Denton, it's Denton MHMR. And then in Rockwall, it's an it's a agency called LifePath. I see. Also, uh, you mentioned that you offer shredding services. Uh, uh, through a documentation destruction program at your vocational center on Midway and Keller Springs in Carrollton. Can you, can anyone get their shredding done at the vocational center? Yes, um, document destruction is our main business mm -hmm. at our vocational center and that is really the way that we're able to keep employing mm -hmm. as so many people in the community. And yes, anyone, individuals or businesses can get their shredding done at our vocational center. And not only do we just shred paper, but we shred uh, CDs, books, magazines, um, anything like that. So individuals can drop by anytime Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. You can hand drop off your box of paper that you need mm -hmm. shredded. Or if you have a business uh, or need or have a giant supply of paper that you need picked up, we can actually supply a bin um, for your business and oh. we do free pickups within a 25 mile radius of our office. And so we can come and get that shredding for you as often as you need. Great. Uh, that's, uh, you know, because people, when they think of shredding, they think mostly of paper. 
and that's yes. a good that you uh, do CDs and other sources. Yes. Also, give an example of other s services that you provide through Vocational Center. Well, um, not only do we have our document destruction program, but we also have a contract and assembly program. Mm -hmm. uh, one example of what we do is um, actually one of our uh, board members saw um, new, met a man who had a small bead company out of his own home in Carrollton and he needed someone to count and string the beads for him so that he could then sell them to jewelry makers. Mm -hmm. Well, we were the perfect size place that could do any quantity for him. So he started using us and so one of the things we do is we count and we string those beads. Um, however, we have a variety of contract and assembly work that we do. For instance, um, we assemble glasses cases for a local um, glass company. So there's you know various things that we do. But also, I forgot to mention, with our shredding, we are NAID and HIPAA compliant, so we can do confidential shredding um, and also provide confidential bins mm -hmm. for your shredding. So that's kind of an extra service that we provide to our customers. How, uh, could you share a story with us that exemplify the work that you do, uh, what you just did? <laughs> well, I think one thing that is always exciting, Sarah was talking about our vocational center, and um, it's really wonderful on every Thursday's payday. And when people are so excited to have their paychecks and that you'll walk into the vocational center and they're all signing or telling you they're getting their paycheck today and what are they going to do and they're able to have their money to do what they want. Maybe some of the people don't understand the actual monetary value of their paycheck, mm -hmm. but they understand that intrinsic value of the paycheck that they can go out on Thursday night and get a hamburger and a Coke That's or go great. to the movies, take, go out on a date or whatever they want to do mm -hmm. and be just like everyone else because that's what they want, that same opportunity that we have to enjoy life to its fullest. So. That's wonderful. Also, how do volunteers, volunteers help in your agency? Well, we really depend on volunteers and community partners mm -hmm. for a lot of different things within our agency. Mm -hmm. uh, one big thing that volunteers do is um, w help in our group homes. They provide activities for the people that work there. Um, home maintenance is a huge thing uh, because we, we don't have the budget to um, maintain our homes. We provide uh, or we, we depend on volunteers to do that for us because we keep our homes to a very, very high standard. So we constantly have volunteer groups coming out to do landscape work or um, some type of organization or cleaning in the home, minor repairs. Um, and so we've been very fortunate that we have a lot of local area churches that actually will send groups to do many of those type of group home maintenance mm -hmm. projects. But we also have volunteer opportunities through our vocational center. Not only do we try to provide a great work environment for people, we also like to provide great social opportunities for the people we serve. And we do that through our volunteers. For instance, we have volunteers that come each year to host a Christmas party or an Easter party. We even have a group that's now made a tradition of hosting an annual Cinco de Mayo lunch. Uh, we just do <laughs> event, really a, a lot of different social opportunities in our vocational center and volunteers can also serve on one of our three committees. Mm -hmm. We have a church relations committee, we have our gala committee, we really depend on our volunteers to help with our big gala which is in February, and then we have our sustainable fundraising committee. And so through those areas, um, volunteers are, are very vital. Are you still looking for volunteers? We are, we're always looking for new volunteers. Uh, we especially need volunteers to be um, buddies to kind of buddy up one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one with many of the people we serve because a lot of the people we serve just do not have any family or if mm -hmm. they do they don't have um, close family support and we depend on volunteers to offer that one-on-one -on -one, um, social opportunities for people. So how do the people sign up if they want to volunteer? Well they can contact me um, they can email me you can find my email and volunteer opportunities on our website which again is mosaicindallas.org or you can call me at 972-866-9989. Sarah Boyer. Sarah Boyer. Yes. There you go. How do volunteers help in your agency? I mean, as far as uh, other activities and stuff. You know, really um, just through those social opportunities and home maintenance um, projects and group home opportunities, those are the main ways. But mm -hmm. um, again, they are really vital for our, um, our committees as well. 
Also, uh, how can community members get involved with Mosaic? Who would they contact? Do you have a website or Facebook page? Yes, um, not only do we have our website, which is mosaicindallas.org, mm -hmm. but we have a Facebook page as well, which is facebook.com slash mosaic in Dallas. Great. Uh, if someone is interested in receiving services from your from you for their loved ones, or who, who, who should they uh, contact? Well, they would call our number, as Sarah had mentioned, mm -hmm. 972-866-9989. And if they were interested in learning more about uh, services through our vocational center, and uh, no, the person does not have to live in a, one of our homes to I be see. able to qualify for services to work in our vocational center, mm -hmm. but also if someone's interested in learning more about the shredding business or assembly and packaging, they would talk to Darren Brewer, who's mm -hmm. at that main number, 972-866-9989. For residential services, they would talk to a woman named Jane Shedd, and her number is the same, 972-866-9989. Or for the home and community-based services program, which is the apartments and people who live at home with their families still, they talk to a woman named Tammy Johnston. Mm -hmm. All this is on our website, as Sarah had mentioned, the mosaicandallas.org. Great. Uh, so they could contact also, also Beth Sabella? They could contact me, Beth Sabella, <laughs> <laughs> at 972-866-9989 or um, through our email, and that's all on our website as well. I had a question on the uh, d uh, document destruction. Uh, you say that you're uh, compatible with uh, NAID, NAID, and HIPAA, and FACTA. Can you explain that a little bit before? Sure. NAID stands for the National Association of Information Destructors, and we are um, compliant with their, uh, the requirements that they have for a person to, mm -hmm. uh, agency to have confidential and non-confidential shredding. Um, and then FACT is a similar organization that just is ensuring that you are keeping things confidential and maintaining that in a secure environment. And then HIPAA, as all of us know, uh, yeah. the last few years <laughs> we've had to be signing those HIPAA waivers at our doctor's and dentist appointments. And we follow that at Mosaic as well because we want our customers to feel comfortable and be ensured that everything they provide to us is treated confidentially and it's shredded and disposed of appropriately. Great. Uh, that's nice to know because a lot of people are kind of uh, scared of taking their stuff or their information to somebody they don't know. One thing in addition to that is we do provide uh, a certificate of information destruction after oh, great. it's shredded, so you'll receive that. You can stay and watch your paper be shredded if you want or whatever you drop off, okay. the CDs or x-rays or whatever it is, or you can leave and then we would send you that um, paper that you could have for tax purposes and other reasons so you can feel secure in knowing that your information was destroyed. That's great. Uh, before we end, can you tell me uh, about moments uh, with Mosaic? Moments of Mosaic is a twice a month event that we have. It's a one hour gathering from 12 to 1 on the first Tuesday and Thursday of every month. Mm -hmm. So next week we'll be having it on August 2nd and then again on August 7th. And it's at our location at the southwest corner of Midway and Keller Springs, right where our vocational trainer is. And this is a one hour gathering where we share the mission and ministry of Mosaic through stories shared through the people we support, our staff and their families. And it's just a wonderful way to get to know us better, see if there might be a fit for you either to utilize our document destruction business, to utilize our services if you have a loved one who has a disability, or to become a volunteer mm -hmm. or a donor or just to learn more about something that's a wonderful, um, we see one of the best kept secrets in the, in the area. So. I see. Uh, also, uh, what, what are the times that y'all meet on those dates that you mentioned? Right. The first Tuesday and Thursday uh -huh. of every month from 12 to 1. 12 to 1. Is it like a lunch? It is thing? a lunch. We provide a light lunch, so we ask people to come a little bit early so you can get your plate and sit down and get comfortable. And then we start right at 12, and we promise you'll be out in an hour. Great. Uh, so if people uh, from work, they can take the, their lunch there and, yes. and hear what Mosaic is all about. Mm -hmm. And uh, w But uh, once again, if people want to get a hold of uh, Sarah and Beth, uh, what are the phone numbers again? Sarah? Uh, it's the same number. It's 972-866-9989. Or you can find our email addresses on our website, which is mosaicindallas.org. And Beth? 972 and again, uh, mosaicandallas.org. All our information is there. So. There you go. Well, thank you all very much uh, for coming by the DFW Business Hour, and uh, you gave us some great information.
uh, on what Mosaic is all about and, and, people, and how people can get a hold and volunteer uh, their time for, for this uh, great organization. Thank you and have a great day. We could, uh, we'd like to remind everybody that uh, this uh, interview will be available on, uh, uh, later on on demand on DFW on ourplanetlive.org. Uh, have a great day. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having us.